being rude and doing nasty stuff in front of the camera. Uh, I think the place that Horrendous was talking about is here. Is that the place? There's a pair of pants. Dum dum dum. Oh! The battle for the void pool is beginning now. The battle begins. I know I'm gonna regret this because it's like a survival kind of thing and I'm just not geared for this. Where are the monsters? In here? What's this? Is that the... This is probably the void pool. Horrendous? Are you trying to kill me? Is that what you're doing? Apparently you're supposed to kill monsters here, uh, and I think they are elementals. Oh, a war alligator. Okay. I hope they don't hit too hard. Okay, they don't hit too hard. There's a dragon too, or a dragon type mob. Corrupted wheel. Oh, so it's like I need to just kind of stand here and defend myself against these, and they don't have any loot, right? At least I don't think they have loot. Oh, wait, what's that? A covetous worm. Ooh, I'm getting scared. Okay, I'm really getting scared. They cast spells. Ah, uh, and I stepped on fire. Mommy! Ah. Uh, yeah, okay, there's no loot, says Horrendous. I need to get in there and do some AoE on these boogers. Oh, I do not like this spellcaster. He needs to stop with the casting. Okay, and an undead too. Oh, come on. That's bad. I don't like that they are so buried. Hey, did he just dismount me? He did. Famous last words. They're coming from two sides? Oh man. But, 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 what happens if I die in here? Do I need to go back in and get my corpse? Crap, they're coming from two sides. I already don't like this. But at least I'm getting help. Horrendous is all like, don't worry. You can do it. Uh-oh. So, what? They're attacking the... Oh, they are. It's, it just said the void pool walls have been damaged. Okay. So if I stand here, I should be okay. I can kill him here. This is... It's actually interesting because it's kind of like a, a defensive type game, you know, like, I wouldn't say castle defense, but you need to sort of defend stuff. It would probably be easier if you had a caster, but I don't, so it's not simple. Will you be able to join me, Horrendous, or anyone else if, you, if they want to? So... The points that I get from doing this, um, how does that work? Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of trying to focus because I have a feeling that all of a sudden these boogers are going to destroy me. I mean, they're casting spells. Many spells. Oh man, that was a lot of stuff at once. Let's try to get rid of some of those debuffs. I wonder if it was the skeleton that did it. Probably was. I don't like skeletons. Don't do this. Don't kill me, monsters. I'm just curious if I need to, like, back out before it's too late. Oh, here's horrendous. Awesome. Um, 
let's just get grouped up real quick. Be horrendous. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I'll do it here. Can I? There we go. Add party member. And let's get up on the mount. Wave number five of Korra's forces are entering the dungeon. There we go. AoE. Swirly swirly. At least I can use my Dragon Slayer for this. Famous last words. Am I standing on a trap? I have only ever been in here once and um, I had no idea what I was doing and I ran really quickly because as far as I remember they were elementals or something and I don't know I just stuff started appearing and I got scared so where the mont here they are charge so we gain points from doing this, I'm assuming, and those points we can then... I don't know. If any of you know, let me know. Oh man, am I gonna regret this? really don't want... Oh crap, no mana. What did they cast on me? Corpse skin. She stepped on a blade trap. Oh man, I just stepped on a bunch of crap. Low life. Let's, uh... Oh, there's a skeletal mage. I didn't bring my undead slayer. Crap. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot right now. We need to be heroes. I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can do this horrendous. I'm starting to feel a bit overwhelmed. Oh no. As soon as they get bunched up, I can use the AOE, and that's when things start to get fun. I'm hitting for 200, which is kind of neat. I just need to make sure that they don't cast all those evil spells at me. I'm loving the graphics here. It's like 2014 and everything is just clipping and... Yeah. <sighs> this game needs a major graphical overhaul. An engine optimization something something. Lord Horrendous looks extremely ill. We are cloning. Cool. Wave number eight. Wave number nine. Um, okay, so... I guess we're probably better off kind of... I don't know, standing somewhere in this area because of the the density of the mobs, I guess. Because right here, they can start casting spells from over there. I don't know. You can make all kinds of plans and pathing screws it up anyway. Oop, tactics just went up. Oh, there's a bone mage in between. This is actually a bit... I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at the mobs and I'm constantly trying to gauge whether or not I should run away or stay. 
so far it seems alright, it's just this game has what I refer to as elevator hit points. You know, where you're, you're attacking something and then the next moment you have absolutely no health and you have full health. It just keeps going up and down. Should be okay though. Wave number 11 now. So, how many waves are we supposed to take out? Or we just keep going until we can't do it anymore? Oh, well, maybe that's what that ghost dude was all about. So, like, let's check out my loyalty rating here. Alright, launch me. It was actually the, the void pool. Uh, see the loyalty menu for reward points. See Vela and Cove for rewards. Ooh. Interesting system. Uh, let's see, what does it say at the bottom of the screen? This dungeon behaves differently from typical dungeons. Monsters do not drop loot. Players score points for killing monsters. After the battle is over, points earned may be spent to earn rewards. The battle against the forces of Korra, Korra the Sorceress, is a never-ending one. Each spawn wave contains monsters that are tougher than the wave before. Eventually, these creatures will be virtually impossible to defeat. Okay. Oh crap. Alligators coming through. Um, how many waves of enemy forces can you push back before the enemy force is overwhelming? Right, okay. Oh! I got an artifact! Woohoohoo! Um, and uh, as I know now, but didn't first time I tried this, artifacts go straight to your backpack. And I think, oh crap, I think it might be this. It is. Oh shit. Or, or poop. Or oh no. Come on. Give me some health. So... What do you say, Horrendous? Are we getting close to being overwhelmed, or are we still doing okay? Because I felt close to being overwhelmed. Of course, I was kind of busy looking at all kinds of other things, too, but, you know. I'm doing okay. Well, this is kind of cool, though. I had no idea that you would actually be earning... Uh, virtue points or whatever it's called, like loot points, and able to get artifacts from doing these mobs. Um, this is something I might consider doing. Um, or maybe I just got lucky. What is this? Oh, uh, it's part of that sacrifice. Uh, sorry, part of the virtue set that I already have two pieces of. But I don't know, I guess it's an artifact, so I suppose it's useful in the sense that you can um, you can give it, sacrifice it or something. There's this crate thing where you need X amount of artifacts and you get some bonus. I don't recall exactly how that works, but I did see something to that extent. Like someone was saying, you need to go to this or that dungeon and farm and then you'll get X amount of artifacts and you can trade those in for good loot. So that might be one way of using this artifact drop that I just got. But, you know, on a positive note, at least I have three pieces now out of a full artifact set. Um, I might display it in my house, uh, get them there. That would be kind of neat though. This is cool though, I mean I had, obviously it's very repetitive, but I had no idea that the game had this sort of defensive type of mode. Uh, oh. uh, we're losing! Oh, wait, what? Uh, 
<laughs> Welcome to the channel, Dar. Dar says, uh, streaming on a Saturday. Yeah, but I haven't been streaming the whole week, so I wanted to uh, do a bonus thing. You're more than welcome to, uh, to show up and help us in here. It's almost not chaotic. Almost. So what happens if I die? The battle is lost? Okay, then what? They all teleported out? Okay, cool. We made it. We didn't actually make it. Current battle scoreboard. What's this? We got some points. Okay. Uh, see the loyalty menu for reward points. What's that? The loyalty menu. Is it this? Probably not. Nope. Definitely not. I don't think there's any void stuff here. Nope. Okay, so now what? It starts over? Ah! For your participation in the battle for the Void Pool on Trammel, you have received 29 reward points. Uh. Well, wanna visit Vela? in code. I want to check out the rewards. So that's kind of like non-optional. That's what we're doing. Let's go there. Uh, teleport to Cove. Bling. Okay, let's see if we can find someone called Vela. Maybe if I look here. Cove docks. Oh! Oh, okay. Um, Dar says he can't join. He's not at home. Oh, here's Vela. Vela the Sorceress. Covetous Void Pool Reward Vendor. Let's check it out. Okay, so I have 29 points, and this is essentially... It's similar to... Uh, Orbit asks if I think he could handle this on his mage. Well, um, you're using summon thingies. I guess if you constantly keep up your vortexes and I guess you could, I don't know if you can put down walls and stuff, but it might be doable. I have no idea. This is the first time I tried it. What's this? A bronze cauldron of transmutation. Um, transmutes bronze ingots into golden ingots? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And this one transmute golden ingots into agapite ingots. Uh, there is a ratio to it though, so it'll be like three ingots to turn three golden ingots to become one agapite. But still, kind of cool. Um, let's see. Is it just all cauldrons for crafting transmutation? Oh, here's something. A miner's gold map. Golden map. To use, mine near target coordinates while holding them out, whatever. So, still just crafty stuff. Here's something! A talisman. 100% success when smelting ore type golden. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. I mean... Yeah, uh, Orbit says the dragon thing you were just doing. Uh, the void pool in Covetous. Well, I think... You know, find a choke point and just summon a bunch of crap that can defend it. And I, I usually probably could do it. I have no idea. Um, I mean, basically, you reach a certain point and then you just can't continue anymore. So you could do it for a little bit and then stop. Ooh, an antique magical fish finder. So, why does it say Blight of Thundra? Is that because one of these items is called that. Ooh, this bow is called that. That's interesting. So for 2,000 points, which is quite a lot, you can actually get these. Th if it's an antique, that means it, it means you can't insure it. 
I think. <laughs> 